This is a basic introduction to landmark voxels. What is a voxel? It's the basic building block of everything in landmark. All of the water, all of the air, and all of the procedural terrain here, as well as everything I've built, um, are made of voxels. The voxel is like a three-dimensional pixel. It's a single unit of three-dimensional stuff in the world. Everything you see here is voxels, except for um, props, which are things like these plants, which are hand modeled, and the characters and UI, obviously. So, besides having the world made out of voxels, you can build with them. Um, if you're watching this, I'm going to assume you have a basic familiarity with the build tools down at the bottom of my screen here. And you should notice that as you select each one, you get this modal toolbar up here, which will tell you keyboard shortcuts. Um, for other options that it can do. Sometimes those are important, so remember they're there and do take the time to investigate them. So let's place a voxel here with the Add tool. And I can place that either directly on the ground or, let me hit undo, I can float that into the air using tweak mode. And to get into tweak mode, I hold down control when I click and then I get this little confirmation box that won't actually place the voxel until I confirm. So there is one standard voxel. This whole landscape is made out of these, but they've been deformed to give these smooth edges, so they're not always cubes. The cube, however, is the basic shape of a voxel. Important things to know about voxels. All voxels are permanently connected to their neighbors. So the neighbors of this voxel right now are air voxels, so they're invisible, but they are there. The neighbors of any of these sand voxels would be either air up above or other sand voxels. A single voxel is therefore connected to 26 neighbors, nine up above, nine down at the bottom, and eight around the middle. And we can see that over here. Black voxel in the center and I've used translucent materials so you can see nine voxels above, eight around the equator, and nine down below makes a total of 26. All of these are permanently connected, if only in some cases by a diagonal corner. What this means is that if you alter the shape of any one of these voxels, you're altering the shape of all of its neighbors. The game will try and maintain the shape of the most recently placed voxel, which means that if it's not a perfect square, or if its neighbors aren't a perfect square, the neighbors will be forced out of shape so that the voxel you placed most recently keeps its shape. And that's going to be important later. And you can see, for example, in this sphere, which I've painted alternate voxels black, you can see that some of these voxels have been changed. They're no longer the default cube shape. They've been sort of smushed down and smoothed so that the whole shape can make a sphere. So that is the basics of what a voxel is. And um, keep those points in mind as we look at a couple of other quick tutorials using that information.